So the question is, what can I do with my old original Sinclair printers on the Spectrum next? So I want to use my Timex um, Sinclair and Sinclair ZX printer, but I want to do it without having to uh, set anything up, without having to know how to do any programming, um, just um, to do things in a simple end user way. So I thought um, the first thing to look at would be um, some word processors. It turns out that the word processor I like best, which is the last word, turns out to be the best one I've found uh, to use on the next. And uh, there's some key reasons for that. First of all, um, you can get it in a DSK format. And when you load the DSK, as I've just done from the browser on the next, you now have effectively the ability to load and save to disk, which saves having to do a tap in or a tap out or even use real tape when you're loading and saving documents. Um, the other thing is that the last word does actually provide support on the next for the Zid Sinclair printers. Um, you might ask why that's an issue. Well, um, normally in 128K mode of any kind, a ZX printer doesn't work. Um, it works in 48K mode. But with the last word, it does work with the 128K version above here. Right, OK, let's print something. Well, this is a really long document, so I'm going to zap this one. And uh, load one I've just written. From the disk, I called it YouTube. And this is loading from the disk. Interestingly enough, the justified paragraph number two looks pretty awful, whereas the unjustified or ragged one looks okay. Now, bearing in mind it's going to go onto a ZX printer, um, I've nearly always found that number one works best. So to print, it's simply extend mode, P for print. It assumes you want to print all the lines, but you have those options. And then you simply just hit print. One copy. OK, so we printed out some basic text um, with a word processor, but what if you want to do something a bit more interesting than that? Well, the best program I found is Art Studio. Again, the DSK version, because um, like with the last word, this version or any disk version, you can load and save uh, from the virtual DSK, saving any issues with doing tap-ins, tap-outs, or even using a real uh, tape recorder. So all you need to do with this is go to file, load file, and then you, uh, because it's a disk, you need to say it's a uh, colon, and um, let's load drawing I've got of Henry the Eighth. There we are. Loading from the disk. Look how quick it is. Now, um, if you take the print to ZX option here, it doesn't work. Um, and I guess it's for the reasons that I mentioned. But there's easy work around. Go to the miscellaneous options and just do view screen. And there's your uh, screen loaded. And then just use the NMI option from the next. So. Hit the nearest, uh, it's a yellow button, isn't it? Uh, go for screenshot and then P for print.
Now, of course, with the word processor, I didn't explicitly explicitly mention the obvious that you cannot do underlines or bolds or send control characters to the printer because um, neither, neither of the ZX printers available understand that. However, it's not impossible because you could use a program like this. I'm just going to see what um, files I have on here because it's a disk. I can just do that. Here we are, Andy Cat, Barney, Bold, etc. That's the one I was looking for. So if I now load Bold, etc., it's useful. It doesn't have to be, it's not case sensitive. It's loading it. Ah! Now, these I basically did using this program um, because this program has the ability to do um, normal height text, normal width, double height, triple height, bold, etc. Um, and because it's you know effectively just a screen image, um, it works. So um, what I'll show you is that you can do all these types of uh, printouts on the Timex Alphacom and the ZX printer as well. So if you really wanted to write something um, which had all these features rather than text, you could um, you could use this.